Well, you're probably familiar with Bonneville Salt Flats because of the uh, famous Bonneville Speedway that's uh, hosted there, uh, where they set a lot of land speed records and things on the salt flat in the middle of the desert in western Utah. <laughs> Um, actually, Bonneville Salt Flats is in Wendover, Utah, which is right on a state line, and it kind of uh, butts West Wendover, Nevada. Well, I've been there twice now, uh, once last year, I think, in the spring, and then again this year in the spring. Uh, if you've been following along on the channel for any length of time, you probably know I was down in Pahrump, Nevada. Well, I was in the desert for the winter, came back early to help my, with some family situations in February, up to Wyoming, which was is really not the time you want to be in Wyoming, probably. And then I went back down to uh, the desert to see some people in uh, April. Well, making my way back north, we stopped at Bonneville Salt Flats again. So for the second time, last time I was there, I did a lot of exploring on some of the primitive roads in the area. This time I did not do that, but I did get to do more exploring on the salt flats themselves. Last time I just like walked out on them a few feet, got a few photos. This time I had the drone with me and... The trick with the salt flats is it can be windy a lot. So <laughs> the first time we were there, the first day, it was crazy, crazy wind. Uh, but went back down another day uh, while camped near, camped nearby, right up against the mountains, which were kind of cool. But I went, went back down the second day, I was able to get the drone up. And it gives a much better picture of the salt flats. They're really massive. It's a salt pan. Uh, the theory is that it was uh, caused by a drying up lake many years ago. Uh, it's just west of, well, I say just west, it's probably 100 miles or so west of the Great Salt Lake. Uh, and there are a lot of saltwater bodies in that area. And so the Bonneville Salt Flats are like a remnant of a salt lake there, but it measures like 5 miles by 12 miles, so it's really vast, and it's hard to uh, capture that from the ground. So having the drone up kind of get a better picture of of uh, what it really looks like. So i got some footage for you here from this trip this um early may 2022 trip to bonneville salt flats hope you enjoy these scenes and i'd love to know in the comments are you uh, are you familiar with the salt flats there have you been to bonneville salt flats before um i know i have put some pictures on social media recently at least one person was saying they've just been there so uh, it is a pretty cool spot very unique so if you're in western utah west of salt lake city uh, i think it's worth checking out um, there is some BLM camping there, so you can camp nearby. Um, there are a couple of small towns with some basic services as well. Um, so it's kind of a fun spot right on the Nevada border, but it's still in Utah. So I hope you enjoy these scenes, and like I said, let me know in the comments what you think.
Thank you.